So we started with we needed to write adventure narratives and so since we were writing adventure narratives what I found in the past is that my students are not so keen on writing on paper and pencil and so when you ask them to write something that's a longer amount of text not a paragraph they tend to just rush through it add very little details and so we decided to write our adventures on our Google account. So I like that you can share with other people and then you can be on the same document and also that you can like change settings so like if you want them to write in it, they can write in it. But if you want them to just comment, they can just comment. Why are you taking me away? I have to stay here. See? It's so cute. <laughs> We were able to talk about how they had a hero and a villain and characters and setting and a problem and a solution and that it's not just always one problem but as they try to solve the problem other problems that are smaller happen and then we talked a lot about that climax moment, that oh my goodness moment, what's going to happen. My story is about a movie which is lost on Easter Island and it's gold. Mine's about um, going to a mountain that's made of sugar. A candy forest where it's very dangerous because an evil witch lives there. I use the quotation marks, but I don't do any, I don't say any names because further, I said the names before. Like these stories are detailed and they've got great dialogue and the, the students who are like, oh, I forgot my dialogue actually went and put in some dialogue. And I mean, the, there's the feedback comment piece in the Google accounts as well that you'll be able to see. We had to give them comments and I, we had to give them a voice note that we liked about the story. They can be sitting around me, but I have my own screen and then I can go and give them their feedback and say, I really like this part, you really did a great job of this. It helped so that when I didn't like something, all I had to do was press the backspace and it would get rid of it instead of rewriting it on a piece of paper. Some students who would hardly have any writing done have pages of writing and they're like, I have like four pages of my stories, four pages long. So just, I found the engagement has increased greatly. I have a Chromebook at my house and so I went on my Google Drive because I showed it to my mom. Positives for parents that I've noticed is that they are now really liking that they can go into their student's Google account from home. We send home their logins and their agenda covers at the start of the year, so they have access to the student's work at all times so that they can actually go and watch what they're doing. They can see the feedback that they've been given from me, they can see peer feedback, they can even give feedback so some, some parents have Google accounts so then their child will share it with them which is really neat. Okay friends, make sure you're gathering your containers, make sure your chairs are where they need to be. Timothy, can you make sure those are I think with the digital citizenship piece we're also able to touch on that Catholic stewardship piece and making sure that we are, when we're good, good digital citizens, that we're also being good Catholic stewards and that we're making sure that we're respecting each other and it's also allowed them to investigate a little bit more I guess in the sense of the whole so social justice piece that comes along with our Catholic faith and making sure that we're helping. We're researching in school about a volcano near the She's a baby, she's probably not. Near the, right beside the zoo, so we snuck away to go. Because we have this technology, we're able to see an impact, and you can talk with, with groups from other countries and things like that. So there's so much we can do now that helps them to become more aware of the world around them and feel passionate about making a change and making a difference. I find that a lot of them come now and they're like, oh. I need to fix that or did you hear about this and then we look it up and we're able to look at videos and and really it's more impactful so I feel like definitely the respect piece is big in respecting each other. Once you come across a blue gate you're there and I was we were on our way. Ways that I've noticed that it's impacted learning is students are adding dialogue to other things that they're working on. They're like they're noticing conventions a lot more, even when it's paper pencil tasks, I'm noticing them trying to use those things. So now they're learning from each other as well, which is really, really neat, and they're teaching me something too. So I've been able to learn from my students and say, wow, you just taught me how to do that. I did not know that. And then they feel really good too because they knew something more than the teacher. <laughs> so they always feel good when they know a little bit more.